Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101. I'm Scott Trella. Uh, we're going to talk uh, uh, Browns and NFL football. We're going to talk NFL free agency. And we're going to talk about uh, the NFL draft. It is scheduled to go on as planned on April 23rd. So we're going to talk about all that in just a second. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Which former NBA player had a starring role in the 1980 comedy movie Aeroplane? I will have I will have the answer later in the broadcast. Um, now we got some Browns news. Former Minnesota Vikings defensive end Everson Griffin remains unsigned on the uh, free agent market, but it shouldn't take him much longer f for him to find uh, a new team. Griffin is uh, predicted to land with a team in the AFC North this year. Following his decision to void the rest of his contract in February, most uh, assumed Everson Griffin and the Minnesota Vikings would just uh, agree to a new deal to make sure that the defensive end uh, returned to the team for the 2020 season. However, uh, Griffin made the surprising announcement <clears throat> last Thursday uh, to end uh, contract talks with the Vikings and focus on signing with a new team. The reason behind uh, why his decision, why his decision uh, to move on from uh, Minnesota is still unknown. But it's going to be odd to see the defensive end not suit up in purple and gold for next season. Uh, as far as what teams could be interested in Sandy Griffin this year, uh, there are a few that he has uh, connections to who have considered the uh, pass rusher as a potential addition to their roster. There is, a, there is one NFL team uh, in particular, uh, though, that makes a lot of sense for Griffin to sign with this offseason. Now, NFL.com's Nick Shook recently predicted uh, where some of the remaining five free agents, remaining free agents, excuse me, might land this year. And for Griffin, he has the former Vikings defensive end signing with the Cleveland Browns, and he's one of the the Browns are one of the uh, four teams uh, that are interested in signing him. Uh, the connection between Griffin and new Browns coach Kevin Stefanski is the obvious uh, explanation why he could head to Ohio in 2020. But signing signing with Cleveland could reunite Griffin with. Current Browns defensive tackle Sheldon Richardson, Richardson excuse me, I couldn't get the, <laughs> who spent uh, 2018 with Minnesota. Uh, the deal breaker for this scenario might be how much playing time Cleveland can offer Griffin for 2020. Uh, the Browns already have two starting defensive ends in Miles Garrett and Oliver Vermin. But there is a possibility, a possibility that they might release Vermin since it would free up an extra $15.5 million. If this happens, Griffin might be more interested in signing with Cleveland if the Browns decide to keep Vermin, uh, Vermin, uh, 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 a Crownedly uh, accounts uh, uh, accurately uh, around, roaming around, excuse me, I couldn't get the word out. However, the former Minnesota defensive end might choose to join another team who, uh, who can offer him uh, more playing time instead. It's hard to know what Griffin is really looking for in his search for a new home. Um... Uh, this offseason, excuse me. Uh, does he want 
to cash in. Does he want a starting role? Does he want to play for a Super Bowl contender? Knowing the answer to any of these questions would make it much easier to determine where Griffin might end up this year. Now, there are three other teams uh, that could possibly sign uh, with, that uh, Griffin could possibly sign with besides the Cleveland Browns. And those three teams, and I'll, I'll tell you who they are. Those t three teams are the Buffalo Bills, the Seattle Seahawks, and or the Dallas Cowboys. Now, those are three that could be possibly interest for uh, uh, Gr uh, Everson Griffin as well. And uh, now, what if, they, if the Cowboys, what if they don't sign Prescott? What don't we sign him? Will they still be interested in Griffin? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, there are uh, a number of reasons to understand why Griffin... Uh, could uh, end up in Cleveland, but there are also plenty of factors that might prevent him from suiting up for the Browns next season. All we know is Griffin won't be playing for the Vikings in 2020, something that many Minnesota fans are struggling uh, are, are struggling to believe is an actual is an actual reality. Reality, yes, that's what it is. I forgot to put that in. Reality, and that is absolutely true. And we will see. What, we'll find out. We'll have to see, wait and see what happens. I will keep you updated on this story. Now, getting to some NFL free agency news. Free agent defensive tackle Daniel Ross has agreed to a contract with the Las Vegas Raiders, uh, who just moved to Las Vegas and were previously known as the Oakland Raiders. The 27-year-old Ross began his career in Canada and spent, a, spent time on practice squads in Houston, Detroit, and Kansas City before joining, the da, before joining the Dallas Cowboys in 2017. Ross had 19 tackles, 2 sacks, and 16 games for Dallas in 2017-2018 before uh, spending last season on injured reserve with a shoulder injury. Ross's position... Coach in Dallas, Rod Marnelli, is now on the Raiders' staff. Ross was arrested on charges of possession of marijuana and unlawful of carrying a weapon last November in Texas. And so we'll see what the Raiders can, how he does with the Raiders uh, this season and in training camp as well. Uh, we'll get to some NFL draft news in just a moment, uh, but right now it is. Uh, Time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Uh, which former NBA player had a starring role in the 1980 comedy uh, Aeroplane? And if you said Lakers great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you are correct. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's exclusive acting resume also features him battling Bruce Lee in Game of Death an incomplete 1972 action film. I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Now that we got some NFL uh, draft news, and I so told you I would update it for you, because I, I told you they were thinking of pushing back the date of the NFL draft. We weren't sure if it was going uh, to happen, but today NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell sent out a memo to all 32 teams on Thursday, Thursday evening, announcing that the 2020 NFL Draft will go on as scheduled, beginning on April 23rd and run through April 25th. This comes as this comes after uh, Goodell met with C with, C, with the CEC, excuse me, and the committee uh, was unanimous and unequivocal that things should process and proceed as planned. Uh, he also discussed this matter with uh, many other owners, club executives, and coaches. And there, excuse me, and there was, uh, and there was uh, said to be uh, widespread support from the unanimous conclusion from the CEC. Uh, everyone recognizes the, that the public health 
conditions are highly uncertain and there is no uh, assurance that we can select a different date and be confident that conditions will be significantly more favorable than they are today. Goodell, uh, Goodell's memo reads, uh, I also believe that uh, the draft can serve as a very positive uh, purpose for our clubs and our clubs, our fans, and the country at large, as as many of you have agreed. That's what Goodell's memo wrote, and it's a very good memo as well. And hopefully, it can serve as a uh, a positive thing, as a as a uh, positive purpose. Of course, uh, talk about the talk about moving the 2020 draft uh, all stems from the uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic that is currently sweeping the country and the world, the world because of because of the uh, because of the virus. The league has already canceled public events and won't bring uh, prospects and their families to the draft and will be conducted and televised in a way that reflects the current conditions. Originally, the draft was set to take place in uh, in the uh, Paradise in the in uh, Paradise, Nevada, right next to the uh, new home of the Las Vegas Raiders. Because the facilities are closed, uh, uh, pro days are canceled. No prospects are allowed to uh, physically meet with the club officials uh, to further e- to further the evaluation process. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the NFL has reportedly uh, been uh, the uh, the NFL has uh, reportedly uh, been a uh, push. There has been a, there has been a reported reportedly been a push by general managers to push the the draft. Uh, to push the draft back to give teams more time to prepare. Uh, this memo uh, puts uh, that re- that request to bed, but the league uh, does recognize the hurdles. Our staff certainly uh, mindful of the operational issues this presents, and our, our priority is putting in a in place uh, proceed. Uh, uh, proceed uh, urges that a lot uses. I think that's uses. I gotta uh, urges that allow to uh, that allow all clubs to uh, operate on a level uh, playing field, so that uh, so that the draft is conducted in a way that is uh, competitively. Fair to all uh, clubs, uh, to all clubs. Goodell, Goodell wrote, all clubs should now be doing the necessary planning to conduct the draft. Uh, uh, per uh, the draft uh, uh, operations, uh, operations. Excuse me, the draft operations in a location outside of your facility with li- with a limited number of people present and with and with significant technology resources to allow you to communicate uh, internally with other clubs and with draft headquarters. Uh, Goodell also says that public uh, uh, discussion of issues relating to the draft serves no useful purpose and is grounds for discipline and action. And this is I'm, well, I am glad because, and I think everybody's glad that the uh, draft is going to go on a schedule when it's supposed to be. And uh, so, and my friend Matt Murphy will be joining me, and I'll be live at his house on April 23rd. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for this edition of Scott Sports 101. And I'm glad the NFL draft is going to go on as scheduled. And so I'll have another podcast on over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Until then, always remember be a team player. Each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.